In today's video, we are taking a look at a blast from the past candy and seeing if we can mold it and fill it with a liquid. Guys, you've seen us scale up a lot of stuff on this channel before, and today we wanted to try something a little bit different. Nate recently bought several pounds of nickel nips. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these candies. They're these little wax bottles that you would bite the tops off of, and they're full of a liquid, and then you chew on the wax, and I've heard many people say some people will eat the wax, some people will just chew on it and then spit it out after a while. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to actually eat it, but uh, that's basically it. It's a candy that's just a wax mold with a, a very heavy sort of syrup liquid inside. Super simple. But everybody seems to remember them, everybody seems to have fond memories of them, even though now when you, you bite it, it kind of just tastes like a melted otter pop in your mouth, but it's still fun. Like they, they are full of liquid and so we thought it might be fun to try and recreate one of these today. However, something this size, not that much of a challenge. So my thought was, why don't we see if we can make a giant one? Now I found this is actually a piggy bank, but I found this at the store and Nate had just bought these the other day and I thought, okay, well let's combine the two. So we're gonna try and chop this in half, turn it into a mold. We have some food grade paraffin wax, which is the same that they use in nickel nips themselves. Let's see if we can make one of these giant scale and not spill Kool-Aid all over the kitchen. Here's the basic idea. We have several pounds of nickel nips, a type of candy you might be familiar with from your childhood like I was. We have the type of wax that they use in these candies and we're going to try and recreate one, scale it up to a giant size and fill it with Kool-Aid. All right, so we're gonna have to cut our giant bottle in half, but before I do that, I wanna get the wax melting because that's gonna take quite a while. So we just have to heat up the paraffin to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we have to let it cool down because I'm not convinced that that temperature won't warp our giant plastic bottle. So let's get this melting before I start hacking into this. Now, normally when you melt wax, you put it in a double boiler. Today, because we're just trying to heat stuff up very quickly, I'm not worrying about it as much, but I will be watching this and stirring it constantly, so we're not going to risk hitting a flash point, but this isn't something I would recommend doing without a double boiler at home. Whoever was kind enough to uh, create this giant Coke bottle piggy bank for me, uh, it has that seal line on it, so I'm just gonna follow that. Cut that right down the side, see if it works as a mold. Might not be the best way to do this. I think this is actually gonna work. But before I tape this back together and just start pouring wax into it, I'm gonna do a test. I do wanna make sure this isn't gonna warp our plastic at all. I'm gonna take some of the hot wax as it's cooling and just pour it into the bottom cavity just a little bit, see if it's gonna do anything, see if we're gonna be all right. This won't be as thick as our final, but we want to see if it's going to peel off all right. So my plastic is definitely warm to the touch, but it doesn't feel like it's lost any of its structural integrity at all, which is awesome. So I'm going to run some cold water over this side, and once this wax is actually cooled down to room temperature, I'm going to see if I can peel it out, because if we're not going to be able to take it out of the mold, I'm going to have to think of something else. So this does look like it's going to peel out okay, except with all these little divots and everything, the wax is absolutely gonna crack, especially if I leave it this thin. I will be adding more layers, but that's a little concerning to me. So I'm actually gonna try and hit this with some baking spray. See if we put some grease on the inside before we do this, if the wax will raise up a little easier. So I've got the water running and several pounds of ice in the sink right now. So we're gonna have an ice bath going. So when I start filling up these two sides, we can just be dunking them and cooling it as we go. Now, the side that we didn't spray down definitely stuck, but we were also seeing that me pouring in layers wasn't working very well. Now this is the one that I did put a bit of a release agent or you know degreaser in. And that actually, I think, once we get enough layers and it's thick enough, that's gonna work. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna melt this back down. I'm gonna clean up both sides. I'm gonna tape them together and we're gonna start again. This doesn't feel very stable because it's not and I'm banking on the fact that the wax itself is gonna help seal this 
together as I pour. One of the sides actually has the seam perfectly matched up. The other side did not want to go back together as well. So there's going to be a little bit of an overlap that you're going to see, a little bit of flashing, but I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to pour in a couple of cups of wax, try and get it around those edges, around where our seam is going to be, so that that part at least will seal up before I pour more in. Um, oh, well, oh, oh, there's a leak. And this is why the ice bath is here. It's all my problems immediately. No more leak. Hey, Nate, can I borrow you? Cool. Mm, that's probably good for now. Thank you. Has anybody ever made a larger candied Coke bottle? I want to know. Do I win? <laughs> all right, so we have at least five or so pounds of wax in here right now. I'm gonna keep going, we're gonna try and fill the whole thing up, and then I'm gonna let it just chill overnight because I'm not trusting that our ice bath is doing as much as it should at this point. We've melted all the ice, the wax is getting really, really hot on the inside, so I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then we'll come back in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. Our Coke bottle has absolutely solidified and I have all nine pounds of wax in here, give or take the half cup I spilled on the floor, so. Take care of that later. Right now we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this, see if we can pull the mold apart without breaking our Coke bottle. Here it goes. It looks pretty good. I've shined the light through it and it looks like we've got a pretty decently even coating. My concern is that you can see, you can absolutely see some cracks in the wax, which given that we poured multiple layers and let it cool in between makes sense. I just hope that it stays together when I pull this apart, which is why I made sure it was very, very thick. Again, this is how you do slush casting, so I'm not terribly concerned, I just need to be careful when I am pulling the plastic away, make sure that we get this lip off the top so it doesn't pull away with the plastic. I think we're gonna be all right. I am thrilled. Now I'm worried if I've made this too thick. That is very opaque. But you know what, that's okay. You can absolutely see where uh, part of the layer didn't come off perfectly, but we've still got most of the Coca-Cola label there. Really cool. Let's try the other side. Well, I have a giant wax Coke bottle. Perfect. Wow, that came out really nice. Look. It actually, the logos actually came out. Yeah, it did. So that, that released from the mold really well. It did. Got an even coating in there, so. That was fantastic. Making it cap right now, we're gonna put some filling in it. So I don't wanna overshoot or undershoot the amount of liquid that we're gonna need for this. <laughs> Very big bottle. So I'm actually going to fill it with water from the tap, see how much that is poured out into something else, see how much we're gonna have to make. Let's mix up some very, very thick Kool-Aid to emulate our syrup that we have in our little bottles. Half cup to one cup. Yeah. We'll start with that. This seemed like a good idea until the corn syrup was involved. All right. That should be more than enough. I really want to make sure this shows up. That actually is a very similar color here. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a different flavoring, but it's just as strong as the stuff that you get in the bottle, so that's perfect. Okay. That's as perfectly full as I can get it. Now to cap this off, the wax will float on top of the liquid itself, so my goal is to just pour a cap lid on. Fingers crossed that this works because the wax I've got melted right now is very warm, but I should just be able to pour it on top. It should settle and then once it does, once it cools a little bit, I should be able to pack it and form it to give us sort of that top lid. All right, so we have our giant nickel nip candy bottle. <laughs> It is full of thick syrupy Kool-Aid, so it kind of matches the inside of the other ones. We've got our cap lid on, so I can actually turn it, it's not gonna spill. I really, really want the color to show through on this, so let's take it outside and see if the sunlight will work. So Nate, 
Made a giant candy bottle. I don't think it's really gonna last that long. Like, it's pretty cool, but it is wax and candy. So, uh, I figure we should at least try to eat it and then destroy it. What's your plan here? So, normally with the little <laughs> ones, you bite the top off. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> okay, well, okay, maybe we just go straight to destroying it. Well, I'm gonna try and take the top off. Yes, I approve. I don't have a whole lot of faith that this is gonna work. Well, uh, I have a plan for that. Let's heat up the blade. Good? <laughs> that went so much better than I could have hoped for. I feel like you're gonna regret that. <laughs> I'm also gonna just try like a slow cut. Not this slow, but I'm just gonna put my weight on it. And that, that's the bottom of the wax. So let's take a look inside the bottle. So, that is in some ways how to do <laughs> slush casting with wax in plastic. This is a hilarious experiment and a really fun way to try this, but now that I know that we can do this, I might try it with a few other things too. Goodbye, giant wax bottle. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Go ahead and click that box up at the top to see our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.